Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, uh, I've got my first Dapple engine. Um, I bought it from, uh, sorry if I mispronounce this, Colchef Model Railways. Uh, yeah, Colchef Model Railways. I, I, hopefully I pronounced that right, but um, I bought it from them on eBay. Um, they've got a big eBay um, online site, so be sure to check them out. Uh, and yeah, I've got the Dapple Class 68, and I can show you this. It's the Scott Rail livery. Um, it's number 68007, uh, and its name is Valiant. Um, the story behind this, basically, some of you may have seen on my Instagram, if you follow me on that, uh, that I recently went up to Edinburgh, um, and all around sort of, sort of Scotland, Aberdeen, Edinburgh sort of area. And while I was in Edinburgh, I was literally just pulling out on a Virgin train, and I was wanting to see this engine, or the other one, Daring, um, but I hadn't seen it the whole day and just as we were pulling out the station coming back to King's Cross um, it pulled into the station so I got a brief glimpse at it and I just it looked I just really liked the look of it basically uh, and I just started having a look online and found out that I guess these did come out quite a while ago and I found that there weren't very many um, available so especially this Valiant one I think there's a new daring I think it's Daring, um, the other one, 6006, uh, 68006, sorry. Um, I think there's a new, sort of slightly modified one of those coming out uh, later in the year, so I might have a look at that then, but seeing as it was Valiant that pulled in and I saw in person, um, I thought that I'd have a look and here it is. So I've never owned um, a DAPO engine before. Um, I believe it's a Welsh company and from the box it's I'm hugely impressed by it it's a very very well sort of built box and packaging it's very strong and sturdy so yeah I'm very very impressed by the, the box and the packaging um, so you can get you see these sort of schematic drawings you get on it which are also very impressive you get them down here as well um, in terms of anything else on the box, there's not much. I've already shown you the little code and information on the top. Um, and as regards to the back, there's also not too much sort of information. So very simple, but very, very, I guess, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, let's lift this up and see what we get in here. We've got, um, this looks sort of, okay, this is a digital guide. Um, I'll let you see that. Oh, um, it's just a guide on all the digit digital functions, um, how to configure it, um, just stuff like that really. Uh, the engine, this engine here, as you may have been able to see on the box, I can show you again here, it is the DCC ready version. Um, just because I, well, I couldn't find any digital uh, fitted or sound fitted um, engines available. So yeah, uh, this is just a 24 month warranty. Um, I've heard that there has been some um, slight issues with some of the 68s that have come out. So that's always handy. And I've heard that Dapple um, are very good in terms of fixing uh, the engine. Um, this is basically an owner's guide, as you can see. Just telling you, um, I guess, what to do. First sort of runnings, how to take the body apart. Um, what else is on here? Fitting a decoder, general maintenance, um, stuff like that. Just the normal sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, another thing about that drew me to getting getting the engine from Cold Chef Model Railways was the fact that they highlighted the fact that um, there have been these issues with some previous 68s um, and that they personally take out every engine and test it before selling it onto a customer. So uh, that was sort of another reason that just drew me to them basically. I've never bought from them before, um, but so far very impressed. As you can see here, the packaging is very sufficient. Um, 
you've got this ice cube packaging um, in this foam sort of insert here, which, oh, okay, it's just coming out. Um, and yeah, another bit of foam on the other side. So you've got this very, very well um, protective box here. Um, and let's just slide this out here. You've got these two little polystyrene bits that just fall away. Um, and yeah, here we are. We've got the the engine itself. Um, it's obviously in this ice cube packaging, which is probably pretty familiar because it's what most engines, um, wherever you really buy them from now, nowadays, um, sort of come from. So, oh, it's a bit stiff coming out of coming out of this packaging. Uh, there we go. Get the sleeve off. Um, and here we have the first look at it. First impressions, I've got to say, is the detail on it is incredible. We've got a little detail pack up here, but all it is is a, a rear NEM, NEM coupling um, and the rear plow because on one end, as you can see, it's got the, the oh wait, no, sorry. The plow, the plow is for the rear because it's got the coupling, um, but no, no plow on there and the the coupling is for the front um, but yeah the plow is already fitted with all the sort of detail pack but um, but yeah what I was saying was I've heard that with the Dapple engines um, all the detail pack is pre-fitted which is very helpful um, and I've got to say from what I'm looking at at the moment very very impressive um, so let's just get it out of the box here and get it set down on the track um, oh, is that on the rails there yep okay so yeah end of the packaging there um, I'm just gonna flip the camera around and go around everything in in some detail okay so here it is I've got it set down on a little bit of track here but I've got to say from from initial sort of inspection upon it, it is an exquisite looking thing. Um, the weight of it as well, I've got to say that it's a very sort of weighted engine um, and the finish, just the attention to detail on every little bit is incredible really. All these nice little decals, um, the nameplate there which I believe is a little bit squint but it's not the end of the world, it's just a tad sort of off but I can sort that out. Um, if we work our way sort of front to back, as I as I've mentioned earlier, you get all the detail um, the detail pack pre-fitted. So you've got the little vacuum pipes there. We've got the coupling. Um, we've got the buffers, which if I just don't know how well you can see that they are sprung. They're these new sort of angular shape. Um, we've got obviously the number there on the front. We've got these all these windscreen. The windscreen wipers, all the little horn um, and stuff like that all up there. Um, all this undercarriage detailing which is really nice. And the decals on the side, or I'm not sure if they're decals or if they're painted, but whichever they are, they're very well done. We've got the number, the little warning, oh, the little warning sticker there. And yeah, overall the front of it is very impressive. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that overhead little box thing there does, but it just adds a nice little effect. Working our way down, we've got the doors there with the handrails. Um, there's a lot of oh, there's another handrail actually, actually here. Um, there's quite a few little railings about. We've got the nice undercarriage here with the painted um, little parts and all the warning stickers. Um, these side vents are also very nice. You can actually see into them. I don't know how well the, the camera will really, really show you. That left one you can sort of see in there. We've got the nice fuel tanks under here. The big Scott Rail livery sign on here. On the side in the centre. Well, it's slightly off-centred, um, but near enough. All this little bits of undercarriage, which is also painted in different colours, all appropriately uh, stuck with the warning stickers. Up on top, we've got another one of these. I guess that must be something to do with ventilation. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we've got the, uh, the the extraction fans here. Um, we've got more, some more side vents here with the cross bracing. Um, the front bogey here as well has got the nice painted 
little accessories on it um, and all the shocks and springs. Um, we've got the, the stairs going up to this rear door here. They're numbered one and two, if you hadn't noticed that. And yeah, round to the front, we've got um, all these, this little information down here. Um, and yeah, this is the rear of the engine, obviously, um, as it does have the coupling. Uh, it's still got all the same um, parts it, like as the front does, um, just apart from um, the plow, which I may or may not fit. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, we've got all the windshield. Oh, I don't know how well you can see this because of the light. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, we've got the windshield wipers. We've got all the handrails, um, all the buffers. These back ones are sprung as well. Um, all the parts, all the vacuum pipes, the numbers, the lights, everything. It's just an exquisite looking thing, really. Um, I'm really pleased with the finish of it. I've been... I've been tempted to get one of these before, um, just because I've heard they're really good engines. Um, they certainly look very good, uh, whether it's in this or the DRS, or I think it's like the Chilton, something like that livery. Uh, the DRS ones look very cool as well, but um, having been up to Scotland recently and um, being part Scottish, despite not having the accent myself, um, I really sort of like these ones. So, so yeah, I'm very pleased with them. I'd hardly recommend them if you can get your hands on one. Uh, 68006, I believe, is a lot more um, widely available still. Um, there is an updated one coming out, I believe, towards the end of the year, as I've previously mentioned. But this is 68007, because uh, I wanted to sort of get the one that I'd seen in person um, and try and potentially get the two of them and have the fleet go, sort of together. Um, yeah, so overall, I'm very pleased. Um, I'm going to go put it on the layout now. Um, I don't actually have any Scott Rail coaches. Um, I've seen a few on eBay, uh, some of the Mark IIs, which um, these pull in real life. Uh, so I might get some of those at some point. Um, but at the moment, it's just going to have to pull some, some Mark ones around. But still, this is, yeah, I'm just really pleased with the look of this. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, let's go have a look at and see how it looks sort of on the layout running.
So here we've got the engine uh, background from the little running session. As you can see, um, it runs absolutely perfectly. Um, I really couldn't be happier with it, to be honest. Um, I obviously don't have any coaches for it at the moment. Um, proper sort of Mark IIs, but I'm going to look into those. But yeah, I have to have to admit that it's a it's a amazing sort of model. Um, very very worth the price. Um, I'd never got a, a Dapple engine before, but I have to say I'm probably going to get another one because just the the detail and the finish on it, the running quality, the heavy sort of feel of the engine, um, uh, it's just incredible, really. So. So yeah, I'm hugely pleased with it. Um, I hope you guys like it as well. Um, there's a very high chance you'll probably see another 68, probably the Scott Rail one, maybe a DRS one as well. I'll have to have a look um, at some point. Um, but yeah, the modern image sort of layout is is coming coming into form quite well. Um, I'm in no means sort of done with steam at all. Um, I still still love them as you can see over there. So yeah, I just thought I'd make a sort of mix out of the two of them really. Um, you're probably going to be seeing a bit more Scott Rail stuff. Um, obviously it goes with some of the Virgin um, stuff that I've already got at the moment. Um, but yeah, hugely impressed. Um, as always, if you've got any queries um, or comments, um, I'm more than happy to, to respond to those. Um, and yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.